The early growth of a seedling results from cell divisions and cell elongation in the apical meristems of the shoot and root. The young seedling is composed of primary tissue and was the subject of the primary plant body. As growth continues, additional layers of cells may differentiate along the older portions of the stem and root. These secondary cell layers increase the diameter of the stem and root and are the products of the lateral meristems of the plant. There are two lateral meristems. The vascular cambium that gives rise to the secondary xylem and phloem and the cork cambium that gives rise to the new outer covering of the plant. The activity of these meristems forms the secondary plant body. From the viewpoint of both the plant and humans, secondary growth is of great importance. Without it, we'd not have wood for our homes or cork for our bottles. Without it, plants would be confined to heights of only a few meters, and the whole course of terrestrial evolution of both plants and animals would have been altered.